Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Paulsen. In this video we are looking at the indentation of the chart of accounts in Microsoft Dynamics NAV365 Business Central. Uh, you can see the chart of accounts is nicely indented and the question is what happens when we add a new GL account. So let's say we set up a new bank account and for that bank account we create a new GL account and that is our account 11550 and we just call it bank in British pounds. This is a balance sheet account and we're taking off the direct posting check mark because we want to make sure we post only through the subledger. So here's our new GL account for the bank in British pounds and the problem is it is not indented right. Of course I want to uh, have my chart of accounts look nice so my first inclination is to add a few spaces in front of the bank account name and I can do that and now my indentation is correct but it does not really feel right uh, when I look at one of the other GL accounts I can see there are no spaces in front of the name but the indentation is correct so I'm not really happy with my first idea to fix the indentation, so I'm going to reverse that and I take the spaces out again. And now I'm back to square one with my problem and I'm looking for the right solution and I find it in the ribbon there is the indent chart of accounts button. When I click this button I will be asked do you really want to do this? Yes I do. And now the indentation is correct. Thank you for watching.